Hey everybody, welcome back. So doing a pickups video, I need to do a news video at some point. We do have a couple announcements and a couple of rumors, which are pretty exciting. So I do have a couple uh, things for this pickups video that actually originally was only gonna be like one or two things, but then a couple things actually did arrive a little bit earlier and I'm pretty happy about that. So first up, I got something from Fright Rags, which is very, very cool. I got uh, two things, one of which was on sale and one of them I debated, but then went ahead and got it. But first off, as uh, Fright Rags always does, they did include uh, the little trivia card. As you can see, this one is for an American werewolf in London. I didn't mean to call you Meat Love Jack. I love that they include these. And again, very cool that it's an American werewolf in London. As you know, I absolutely love that movie. And one of the two things I got, so first up was a shirt that was on sale. I was actually kind of surprised it was on sale. And they had it in uh, my preferred size, which is actually a large, even though large is a little loose on me. I actually do prefer large in t-shirts. And that is this Tom Savini shirt, which I think has an absolutely amazing um, artwork on it, which I see all the different uh, characters that he's created over the years. I think this is so cool. This is actually pretty cheap too, which I was kind of surprised about. So obviously there's Tom in the center and then you got uh, Fluffy from Creepshow. So you got Bernie and you got Nate from Creepshow as well. You got that one down in the corner. I think that's, I don't know if that's from a movie or if that's like a Halloween costume he did one year. I can't remember. And then obviously up in the other side, obviously you got Jason from part one, Bub from Day of the Dead, uh, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw 2, Lizzie from his uh, Tales from the Dark Side episode, which is a great episode. So very cool to get this shirt. If it's still on sale, I definitely recommend grabbing it. And then the other thing, which I've not even opened yet, well, I mean, I've just took it out of the box, but I've not actually looked at it yet, is I did actually get this uh, Night of Living Dead lunchbox, which I know is a pre-order item and I decided not to pre-order it. I was like, what am I gonna do with a lunchbox? But then they actually had a couple more, uh, you know, originally sold out, but then they actually had a couple uh, extra ones in stock. And so they had it for, it might even still be available actually. And honestly, I've seen this in other people's videos and I was like, oh, man, I don't like, what am I gonna do with it? I don't know where to put it. Probably just gonna end up putting it in a box, you know, but I was like, well, maybe I could always sell it online if I change my mind. But I don't know, every time I saw it in other people's videos, I was like, that's really cool. Cause I love the artwork. Obviously on the front here, it's a nice closer look at that artwork, which I believe is the same one they also had on a shirt. And they have one side there and another side there. And the reverse is the same. And then just the bottom with some artwork, but this also comes with a thermos, which I've not looked at yet. So, all right, here's a quick look at the thermos. Again, with the same artwork, but absolutely love it. Going all around there. And let's just take the top off if I can. There we go. Oh, double top. So, yeah, just, I mean, regular thermos, you know, like you got these when uh, we were kids, at least some of us anyway. Again, I wasn't gonna get this, but then, I mean, I must admit, I saw it, every time I saw it, I was just like, oh, well, you know what, if I'm gonna get it, I might as well just go ahead and get it. So we'll see, we'll see what I do with it down the line. But if I can find a place for it, actually, I would like to keep it because it is really cool. Even though, like, I don't really collect, like, lunch boxes or anything. All right, next up, um, I have two things, actually, real quick, I'm just going to cover before I get to the movies. These actually came in early. I was actually not expecting these. Uh, these are Star Wars related. So um, we'll say I did get two uh, new Star Wars figures. This one is uh, the new Mace Windu figure from Attack of the Clones. That's a nice closer look at him right there. Not a bad resemblance, actually. And it comes with two lightsaber options. Uh, obviously one with the blade and then one without that you can just sort of hang on a side. So very cool. And then the other one is Yoda from The Empire Strikes Back. A nice closer look. Again, another good looking figure and it comes with the uh, sort of blanket that he wraps himself in. Hey, These are just nice looking figures. The look of the figures now is really just quite amazing. The amount of detail they can get into them now. Unlike when I was a kid, <laughs> it's like, I mean, they, you know, it looks like a person at least. So I'm not going too nuts uh, with uh, some of these. I shouldn't say that. Actually, I have a couple of pre-orders that maybe I am going a little nuts with them. But some of you know I'm getting ready for a Star Wars uh, display that I'm going to be doing eventually. So I'm getting a couple of uh, new ones. And again, these weren't, ex you know, I wasn't expecting these till like later this summer, but then I, was, then I got a shipping notice. So I was very happy that those actually came in early. And then something that uh, I missed out on a couple of years ago, but actually did grab is this uh, TIE Fighter, which I believe may have been a Walmart exclusive as well. It's, I think it's the same image on the front and the back, yeah. The nice thing about these is that these are, I mean, they're not one-to-one -one scale, but they're much more better scaled than 
what you know these like sets used to be and again this is obviously for my display now this is kind of a faulty to my understand there's a problem with the wings on this i think you have to take it's better to take out the spring because i think over time the spring that's inside the wings so the wings can pop off uh it actually breaks a little piece of plastic that keeps them in place and it's better just to take out the spring i believe that's the issue but i'll i'll take care of that down the line and once i'm getting closer to that display like some of these stuff that i have you obviously this a couple of the other vehicles you know i'll do like a proper unboxing for those of you who care and those will be separate videos for those of you who are do are interested in that let's get to the movies uh it's just a couple uh real quick so first up from kino is the jean-luc godard film alphaville there's the front and there is the back this is a Godard film I've never seen, but I've known about it for a long time because it's one of the films that actually influenced uh, George Lucas when he was really young. In fact, a lot of the aspects of this, because it's sort of semi-futuristic, uh, sort of worked into what he did a little bit in Star Wars, much more what he did in THX 1138, where you use almost existing locations, but how you film it actually almost makes it look futuristic. Very, very cool. Very excited to actually check out this film. If you've seen it, definitely let me know your thoughts. Next up is one I'm super excited about. It's uh, I think this movie is absolutely hilarious, and that is Top Secret. Been waiting for this to get a proper release, and there's the front of the Blu-ray, and there's the back with a couple spe special features. I think some of these may have been on the DVD actually the commentary track some alternate scenes the bookstore backwards I wonder if that's because because that means if it's backwards it'll actually be in its like proper speed which would be funny such a hilarious film it's obviously from the guys who did like airplane and naked gun if you've never seen it uh, it's really really good I think it's one of Val Kilmer's like early films as well looking forward to checking it out too because it's been like a few years Next up is the new 4K release of Beverly Hills Cop 2. And there's the front and there is the back. I love Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2, so I'm happy that uh, they did finally get uh, 4K releases. Obviously, the first one came out uh, like two years ago or something in 4K. And then we finally got two <laughs> after all this time. Maybe we'll get three at some point. Who knows? I mean, even though three is like, okay, this is good enough. There's like enough uh, good stuff in it where I would definitely would pick it up if it comes out. But definitely happy to get uh, part two finally in 4K. And then finally, the new Vestron release of Walter Hill's Extreme Prejudice. And there's the front... And there is the back with a lot of special features, actually. I was quite, quite surprised. And I've not seen this in so, so long. I actually watched this literally just last night. And I was actually really impressed by how good it is. There's a lot going on here. And the cast is really good. I've seen Nick Nolte and uh, Powers Booth and Maria Conchita Alonso. But also has like Clancy Brown and William Forsythe. And the great Michael Ironside is in it. So anything Michael Ironside is in is always a good movie in my opinion. But yeah, also happy that again, we have another one in the Vestron line. So I'm glad this is definitely still happening. And again, for a good price. I mean, this is maybe 12 bucks or something. And one I definitely recommend. Again, I was actually, uh, didn't really remember much to it. So it was basically like watching it again for the first time. Or watching it for the first time, not again. <laughs> so that's it for this pickups video. Just a couple like odds and ends and kind of weird things. Now I do have a couple things that have shipped that will be coming in uh, probably uh, sometime next week. And I'm trying to play catch up on a couple things. So hopefully I can get videos out regularly again. I know I keep saying that, but believe me, <laughs> that's actually my goal. Fingers crossed. So I should actually get back to work on this room. Had a couple things that the internet to deal with. Had uh, the exterminator who had to come by. So hopefully no one else needs to come in here. <laughs> so I can start cleaning this place up. And I will be doing actually a very special uh, Q&A uh, video, which I'm gonna record just a quick video at some point, just asking for questions, and then I'll answer those in a follow-up video. But so keep an eye out for that. So definitely let me know if you picked up anything recently as well. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.